I'm looking here at the radar. We've got a pretty big rain shower coming up ahead. And um, since it's getting dark and we were hoping to make a landfall in this harbor, it's uh, looking like it'll be a little tricky. And we've been really excited to come to the south and west coast of Italy. And it has Pompeii, Vesuvius, and I think just from looking at it as we've been sailing by today, the coast looks really gorgeous. I mean, it's so dramatic and mountainous. Right now you can't see it because it's going to go in behind this thunderstorm or um, hopefully just heavy rain. And uh, anyway, welcome to the west coast of Italy. This week we travel along the Tyrrhenian coast of Italy to one of the most important archaeological finds ever, the Roman city of Pompeii. But before we set sail from the island nation of Malta where our voyage begins, we have some tips for getting the best experience when traveling, including finding good local restaurants and festivals. And we speak with a yacht master instructor Perfect. for hints if you're thinking of getting into sailing. We just bring it around nice again. We've got to keep looking at the front. Join us as we sail to the distant shores of Italy. I wanted to break away to see the world. I longed for excitement, the romance of travel. So we built a boat. And now we travel the oceans. Join us as we voyage to distant shores. Our voyage to the west coast of Italy begins in the Republic of Malta, a small, hospitable island nation in the central Mediterranean, a former stronghold of the crusading Knights of St. John. Hello, Sea Fox. Hi, Paul. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Come aboard. Many cruising sailors stop here for the winter to carry out annual maintenance chores on their boats in the comfort of Malta's delightfully warm winter climate. With spring in the air, we're all planning our next season of cruising, and following the upcoming Easter celebrations here, we'll be setting sail for Italy. Two of the things Cheryl and I are looking for when we travel are to meet the people and try local cuisine. Finding that great local restaurant is often a good way to do both. This looks like a nice local place. Another good sign, they have good local prices. So here we have a cappuccino for 25 cents. That's about 75 American, or only about 45 pence. And the best is if it has a television. Hello, how are Hello. you? Am Bonjour. I seeing the right person? <laughs> You're the one on the traffic channel. Uh -oh. Great program. <laughs> Very nice. Please talk. Perfect meet you. restaurant. Okay. All right. Neighborhood guys watching TV usually guarantees a place is not a tourist trap. I see you on this tele. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This the dot. It's very famous. Dot, that's big. It's a big fish. Yeah. And we, and we do it uh, fillet, yeah. you know? This is uh, the red bream, the sea bream, salmon, swordfish, and the dot. These four are from Malta, from here, you know? So what is your it's best recommendation for us to try a little bit of something from Malta? Yeah, yeah, The red bream and the dot. Let's try a little that's bit of that. That's the best of the best. <laughs> well, it sure looks like we've got the right restaurant. Even one of the regular customers is keen to help out. It's made up of fish. Really fresh. Did you taste it? Not oh, yet. Not yet. I'm just Quite hearing. Good. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he eats it. You take bread with it. Take some. It's his famous. Oh, stick some bread in it. Uh, it's right. his famous dialect. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it is flavorful. Every Monday, I come here, relaxing. Just going for a walk by the sea, by the shore. Okay, then I come here, and this is my favorite restaurant. It's good, it's not too expensive. In his enthusiasm to have us sample all the Mediterranean has to offer, Albert has produced a meal fit for six people, not just two. 
Oh my word, isn't that beautiful? What have we got here, Albert? Got yes, you have your mussels, you have the shrimps, you have the half shells, everything is fresh, you know, the king prawns, and you can see how, yes. how nice it is. I'm sure it's a brilliant meal. Oh. I recommend this food because it's very nice. Yeah. Garlic and wine? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You can it's taste just how It's perfectly tender. cooked, it's so tender. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Oh, I got a local helping me here. Yes, sir. Which one? I take that one. I have to suck it out. One of these little ones. Okay, show heads. Okay. Pull off. Pull off the head. Okay. Mm. Sucking the head. But you have to suck. I did. It was good. <laughs> so if you're looking for that special little restaurant, check out if they've got a television. Check out if they have nice local prices. There's local people in here. And enjoy the local food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Thank, you very much. Much. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. I'm very glad. <laughs> I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised. Going out to the local favorite restaurants is one good way to meet great people. Another is to try to attend a community event. We have found that festivals are a nice place to talk to people and learn something of their traditions. We're here at Easter, when many of the Mediterranean countries have their biggest festival. As they're getting ready, I ask one of the participants why he gets involved. It's nice, it's something religious, you do it as a sort of sacrifice as well, annually. It's something that brings you to the spirit of Good Friday. I've, I've had it made in Malta by local craftsmen. I'm astonished to learn these guys can pay upwards of $5,000 to have their outfit custom made. He lends it to me for the procession. I had bought it uh, 21 years ago for the payment of 500 pounds. Today it's, uh, it costs about 1,700. Yes. They're quite expensive to do. They are. They're same very price as a car. Isn't yeah, same no, not really. Uh, same price as a car maybe in Canada, not in Malta. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a used yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the most popular jobs in the procession is to be allowed to carry one of the statues. Some of them weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. I'm an accountant by profession and I teach at the university. So it's not a question of being, you know, a macho person. Right. It's a question of guts, actually. Yeah. I'm in the crucifixion, weighs around 8, 900 kilos. So uh, no easy feat, no. You know how you, how you notice that he lifted the, the statues? Look at him. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you got a special, yeah, special... That's an extra muscle. Yeah, that's right. The extra muscle is the result of irritation from carrying the saints. Many of the carriers have it, and they'll need it as they carry the statues for the next two hours. Local crowds and visitors line the narrow streets of Valletta as the procession winds its way around, stopping only at the corners for a rest. It's long since dark when the last ones arrive back at the church, and it seems like we've had a special glimpse into the local culture. Are you interested in the cruising lifestyle? Are you planning to sail away on a cruising adventure? Or researching cruising areas and destinations? Distant Shores is a television series about the cruising life with lots of tips for sailors planning to sail away. This is Oswego, New York. We are entering the Erie Canal system and this will take us all the way from Lake Ontario to the Hudson River, which gets us to New York City plus destination information to help you make your cruising plans. Yeah, I can stand on the bottom. 
We've been filming distant shores for nearly 15 years and know the fun and challenges of the cruising life. We've made distant shores with you in mind. We include plenty of cruising tips in this travel series, as well as lifestyle segments and hints for sailors heading to exotic destinations. Encouragement for you and your crew to get out cruising. Destinations include the Intracoastal Waterway, the Bahamas, Caribbean, the Mediterranean, Scandinavia, transatlantic passage making, the French canals, and more. Distant Shores is available on DVD and digital download and can help you achieve your cruising dreams.